Conway Medical Center and WPDE News Channel 15 present your health, your decision. The hyperbaric chamber allows the patient to breathe in 100% oxygen under pressure, which places more oxygen within the bloodstream. The analogy I like to give people for putting oxygen in your bloodstream is kind of like this seltzer water or soda, whatever you want to call it. When we push oxygen into the blood, you can breathe 100% oxygen, but that doesn't saturate the blood. You have to put it under pressure, just like we could put the carbonation in the water, but it wouldn't stay in without pressure. So we supersaturate the blood with oxygen, and then as it goes to the wound, that oxygen gets lets out, just like the oxygen, just like the bubbles that come out of the soda. And so that's the way I like to describe to patients how the chamber works. Depending upon the different diagnoses that people have, and the thing that we see most is diabetic foot ulcers. And so generally speaking, a patient will be prepared for the oxygen chamber, first to make sure that they meet the qualifications to get in the chamber, and also they meet the Medicare regulations to be treated with hyperbarics. They get in the chamber uh, and they start breathing 100% oxygen under pressure. And that oxygen under pressure supersaturates the bloodstream. And then the, that supersaturated blood goes to the wound and releases that oxygen, which then helps with the wound healing. For example, in diabetics, the, they have poor blood flow frequently. They also have uh, different problems at the cellular level that prevent good healing. And the high levels of oxygen help overcome some of those deficits. When you first go into the chamber, it can be kind of apprehensive. And so a lot of patients will say, well, I don't know if I'm claustrophobic. I'm worried about being in that space for so long. But we find that after patients have gone through one or two sessions, they then feel really comfortable and relax and almost look forward to going into the chamber. They generally go in the chamber for two hours. Each session is two hours, and they go five days a week, and generally it's at least for about two months. We treat arterial insufficiency ulcers, people that have poor blood flow into the, into the leg or other areas of their body. Uh, we treat different wounds uh, related to uh, different radiation treatments. Um, one of the most common things we also treat are bone infections, osteomyelitis, and uh, there are other lesser, less common uh, entities that we treat as well. First of all, a lot of the patients that we get in hyperbarics are from the patients that we see on a, an everyday basis. So if a patient wants to be seen at the, the center, and generally they're referred here by their primary care physician or another physician, uh, frequently patients will just call up, I will triage them and, and we get them into the center as well. And then from those patients, we frequently find patients that will meet the criteria for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. There are very specific diagnoses that people ha must have in order to have insurance companies and Medicare pay for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So it's, we get a lot of phone calls. Um, I've seen that uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help with memory loss. I see that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help uh, with Parkinson's disease. Well, a lot of these entities, some studies have shown that it helps, others have been inconclusive. So right now, the current situation, we're very specific only for diagnoses that have been well studied and approved by Medicare for patients to go into the chamber with. For more information, visit us online at conwaymedicalcenter.com.